My name is Mara Wilson. I am a writer, performer, and storyteller. I've, I've basically been an anxious person all my life. Uh, I have suffered from anxiety. I have obsessive compulsive disorder. Um, I've dealt with depression. Uh, I've been dealing with it for a very long time, for most of my life. I was an anxious kid, and I'm still kind of an anxious adult. I wish somebody had told me that it's okay to be anxious, that you don't have to fight it, that in fact fighting it is the thing that makes it worse, that pushing it away is really what it is. It's the fear of fear. Um, and that, you know, people, it's okay to be depressed and also, not that it's okay, but that it, it's not a romantic thing. <laughs> you don't have to be depressed. You know, you don't have to suffer with it. You can get help, you can reach out. Also, uh, sort of on the flip side of that, you know, anxious, being anxious and fighting that anxiety, you know, is actually just going to make it worse. Um, I wish that I had fought my depression and not fought my anxiety as much. When you face anxiety, when you realize what it is, when you understand that it's just this uh, false alarm in your body, then you can work with it, then you can overcome it. I do this show called What Are You Afraid Of? which is about fears and phobias and dealing with them and laughing at them. And uh, what I like to do is uh, lead people in a breathing exercise in the middle of it. Uh, I always tried to do breathing exercises when I was young, but I never did very well with them because I was not doing them correctly. I would just try to breathe in really fast and breathe in really deep and it would just make me dizzy. So uh, I found this book a few years ago called The Panic Attack Workbook by Dr. David Carbonell and it was really a life-changing book. And what I got from there was this breathing exercise. Now, uh, what you do with this, the difference between this and any other breathing exercise is the first thing you do is you breathe out. Because if you try to breathe, and I'm gonna put one hand on my belly here and one hand on my chest here, because uh, what you wanna do is make sure that your chest doesn't move. Because you ask people to take a breath and they'll breathe like this. They'll go like this, and that's just gonna make themselves really, really tight, and it's gonna be really hard to breathe. And you can even hear it in the way that I'm talking. It's not a very relaxing thing. So but you can put a hand on your chest, make sure that uh, you're not actually pushing your chest out and moving your shoulders up. Put a hand on your belly, because what you wanna do is you wanna breathe into your belly, and you wanna do it very, very slowly. But first, what you wanna do is take a breath out. Take a breath out, just sigh, like, like that, and then very slowly fill up your belly and pull your belly in as you are doing that. So what you're doing is you sigh and then you fill it up very, very slowly, breathing into your belly and you pull your belly in a little bit right before, just a second before you actually breathe out and very slowly Breathe in that way. Now, if you keep doing this, you'll notice that you start to feel a lot more relaxed, a lot more grounded. You notice I'm probably even talking a little more slowly. Uh, and it is extremely helpful. You're gonna push your belly out. Yes, you're gonna give yourself a big belly, but you know what, who cares? This is more important. You know, you can hold in your stomach any other time of day. This is about relaxing. And the best thing about this is that if you keep doing it, you will start to notice that you do it on your own. So start practicing when you feel anxious, when you don't feel anxious, when you're at a when you're at a stoplight, when you're on the train, when you're, you know, sitting at home, when you're watching TV, when you're trying to sleep, when you're in class, when you're in school, when you're at work, you can do it because it's just breathing and nobody's going to notice. These are things that so many people go through and this is something that everybody can deal with and can overcome and I think that that's really important. So I think that that's something to keep in mind that you know you are not the only one who has this. Other people can and have fought these battles before. So the important thing to remember is that you are not alone and you are okay.